This is a, a competition that's done every year by Vex Robotics. They're based out of uh, Garland, Texas, and they, they saw a need for a development in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. And they, they saw a need for a development in STEM and felt the, the large need to have robotics play a big role in that. So what they did is they created a, an event where they changed the competition every year. Last year we had to pick up um, balls and barrels that were, balls were about that big, barrels were about that big, and we had to pick them up and put them into goals at different heights. And putting them into different goals and the order we put them in got us different points and essentially the, the, mat, the competition is to score more points than your opponents. I um, programmed the, our A-Team robot, which is the first robot we had qualified for the Worlds. So I'm in charge of the autonomous mode at the beginning of the match and the programming skills challenge. In, we're currently ranked like 11th or 12th in the world because of my programs. This year I'm the driver. I drive in all the competitions and I make sure that we win, basically. I take the robot that everyone else has built and programmed and made like perfect and then I perform the best of my ability because it can't drive itself all the time. What the format is, is they have 15 seconds of what we call autonomous mode. So in that autonomous period, you'll have 15 seconds where you'll have your remote control in your hand, but you will not have any control over what your remote does. So you can, you can do whatever you want to your remote, but it doesn't affect the robot. The, the field control system will take over and you'll have 15 seconds of your robot doing something. And it has to be pre-programmed by your team specifically for what you want your robot to do. And then from there you have a minute and 45 seconds, so each match is two minutes long. So you have a minute and 45 seconds and that's driver operated using your controller to dominate the other team. It's been exciting because we, we know that we're going to compete on a worldwide level and it's been kind of, I'm a little bit apprehensive about it because we went last year but we weren't even considered a competing robot because it was falling apart and we weren't ready. And this year we feel like we actually have kind of a chance. You know, we're like, our robot's good, we've won a lot of things, we have a great team this year. So it's, it's been fun but it's also been scary because we're going to compete with these other people who have been, been preparing for years they're really good at this, this is like their life. But overall it's been kind of fun to just consider that we're going to a worldwide thing. Um, currently in the world rankings they don't really give us a, a place, but then there's another portion of the competition we can compete in, which is the skills portion. In the skills portion you're on the field for one minute alone, you and your, there's just one robot, no opponents to get in your way, no teammate to get in your way, and you score as many points as possible. And there's, there's two different portions of it. There's a driver skills and a programming skills. So they both are one minute long. And in the driver skills, I believe we're currently ranked 32nd or 33rd and about 53rd with, for one of our teams. And then our, those same two teams are also ranked really high in programming skills, which is the same format. One minute, score as many points as you can in that much time. And in that, in that one, they are, we are currently ranked number two in the world and number 11 in the world. And that's out of a total of about 7,400 teams competing worldwide. So it's, it's a pretty big honor to be ranked that high. It's been a lot of fun and I learned a lot about like real life applications and stuff. I've loved it. I think there's nothing better. It's a whole bunch of nerds just hanging out, doing what they feel like. And it's, it's really fun because you get in like fake fights with people, you get in real fights. You learn a lot. I've never learned so much as I have after school here applying the things that they teach you in like the engineering classes. 